Alright everyone, this is Kev the Retro Game Casino and I was tagged off the 16 Bit Brothers. So thank you to Roger, Edie and Danny. And I still miss uh, Johnny but you know. Um, they were tagged off Billy the Game Chaser, which is pretty cool. Um, and this is five random gaming facts about me that no one cares about. <laughs> right. So one is, when I was very young, I think it was like eight or nine, I went to a friend's house in, in his bedroom, he had this like random console i never seen at the time, it had no wires, no controllers, no games, and I only seen it for like one day, and it took us until I seen the angry video game now to find out what it was, and it was the Atari Jaguar. And it, it stayed with us for years and years because I never knew what it was. No one else had one. I never seen it get played on. And it was just like, I wonder what that thing was. <laughs> right, that's number one. Number two, I've read it down on a bit of paper. Um, I'm really big into my puzzle games. It's probably like the third genre of game I'm into the most. I love stuff like Devil Dice on the PS1 which I used to play on a demo then I got it on a copy years and years ago. Um, Catherine on the 360 very hard game, very frustrating but I love it. Uh, recently Toad's Treasure Tracker one of the greatest little puzzle games I've played in a long time and I like stuff on like mobiles uh, like off app stores and all sorts where you'll download them, play them for like half a day and then delete them. Just loads of little puzzle games. Number three, uh, I once had to be Tekken 3 just with my feet because at, the, at that time I was playing hard mode and I had a nosebleed and I didn't want to stop fighting so I put the controller on the floor and I was using a uh, law at the time and he's very simple to use so I was able to use him and do most of his moves with my feet which was pretty cool I must have been about 11 or 12 at the time still had my PS1 at the time um, so that was kind of crazy right number 4 is before I started watching the game chasers and I made my own channel I quit playing like the 360 the Wii and I never played a PlayStation 3 before then but in like 2011 until like September I didn't play anything for about half a year I give gaming quite a, a break even though up to this point I've been watching like Angry Video Game Nerd Game Steady One, Chipsters Pat the NES Pumpkin slightly more, a few more for about five years up to this point it wasn't until like the game chasers and video game sellers came and I felt like this is what I would look like to do, even though I still don't, but time the time I do, but um that's number four. And it's been pretty fun. Alright, so number five. I did not own a memory card on the PlayStation 1 for about two years when I was a kid. So Whenever I got a game, I had to complete it over and over again, even if it was a long game, a fighting game, Tony Hawk's, I don't know how many times I beat that just to get characters unlocked, the videos unlocked, get stats, the silly points, but all the time I used to just never have a memory card because they were like expensive and it was the one thing I don't think I asked for for a long time until I finally got one in. I had to just keep beating games and it was fun. I must have beaten Tekken 2 pretty much every day for like a couple of months because I wanted like certain characters each time. But it was like a good way of just training. So that's all my um, gaming things that no one knows. I've got three tags here. First one is round two gaming. It's this cool guy from Canada and he has 
and an insane collection and at the minute he's doing a two hour of his gaming room with his billions of toys. Most of, most of his videos take about 20 minutes but it's amazing some of the stuff he has so he's been tagged. A good friend of mine Shock16, he's building his gaming room at the minute in Everyone tell him to keep that beard because it looks kind of beasty. Because you know, I've got to keep my beard. So, Shock 16 and a good mate of mine who did a kind of cool thing for us tonight, uh, Monkey Spice. And I'm going to be going down to Blackpool with him in a couple of months. So, bring on Blackpool. So, all of you have been tagged. And this has been Kevin the Retro Game. See you later. Thank you for watching.